Hello boys and girls, today I'm going to be making an artwork called a gomograph. A gomograph is a special kind of artwork where you can actually see two different paintings in one piece of canvas or in one piece of drawing paper. Okay, so for this artwork, you would need your drawing materials, a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. Okay, and you will also need two pieces of paper. It, you can work on A4 size paper or you can also work on drawing size paper, drawing paper size, okay? But you will need two of this paper. It has to be the same size, but it doesn't matter what size it is, okay? And of course, color pencils for coloring your artwork. Are you ready? The first step to making our agomograph is to actually fold our paper in half, like this. Make sure when we fold it, it's edge to edge, corner to corner, to create a crease in the middle. When we open up, we will bring one edge to the paper to the middle and also crease it again. To create another crease in the middle here, we will do the same on this side too. Now you will see you have four rectangles on your paper, right? And you see three lines in the middle. We are going to further make more rectangles, small, smaller rectangles in between these two and these two rectangles over here. And how do we do that? You can flip your paper around, follow this crease, fold it and make sure it's straight. And create the crease in the middle here. Okay. Next, you can flip it around and fold it down this way. Now, we are going to bring the crease over to this side. So, we can flip it and bring this whole entire stack of paper to the middle crease. Make sure that you do not make the line goes out of, you know, the edge. The edge must always be the same and it touches each crease of the paper. We shall move on to the next part of the paper over here. Same thing. Bring this edge to the middle crease over here to create the crease. Then you can flip it around, fold it up, and the last one, right to the middle. Okay. Now, after doing this folding, you will notice once you open up your paper, you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertical lines and rectangles that are the same okay exactly the same one two three four five six seven eight. now remember we had the other paper as well right fold the exact same way on this paper to this paper as well okay so as i was saying earlier fold into two fold the two pieces of paper that you got in the same exact manner then you put one aside and then you can fold the other one into just half first and to draw two different pictures on two sides take four rectangles to draw your picture one and the other four rectangles to draw your picture two for me i decided to draw a flower and a butterfly on this side and after you're done with your drawing, do color them in and then I'll show you what's the next step. Remember, four rectangles for the picture one and four rectangles for picture two. And make sure you draw your drawing in a... and make use of all the space. Draw it big and you can even draw patterns on the picture that you have drawn. Okay? Do color them also. For my gamma graph, I've already painted two sides. 
I've drawn and colored it. A flower and a butterfly. Okay, so I've used here cool and warm colors to make a balance between my two pictures. So, so just to make sure we can just freeze it again before we start pairing it. Okay, so we're going to follow this line. You can use a ruler or you can use a safety scissors or someone to help you to help you cut. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to strip this into strips. Before I forget, so that you won't get your picture mixed up, you can just number them at the bottom, very small. One, two, three, four. And do the same with the other picture as well. Just write one, two, three, and four. Okay? And then proceed to tear it into the strips that you have folded it into. You can also use a scissor like I said. This picture too. It's my picture one. And proceed to do the same for your picture two as well. Okay, so after cutting your both pictures into strips like that you will need a glue sorry i forgot to mention earlier yes you will need glue now so that we can paste on these strips onto the first piece of paper that we have folded but there is a certain way that we are going to paste it in such a way that this agamor graph will come to life so what we're going to do is remember we numbered our pictures one two three four one two three four now we will number our paper here in this manner you're going to put one one, two, two, three, three, four, four. And we are going to alternate and paste the pictures in the number they, they come from, they come in. So the first picture I'm going to paste is this one, followed by the one labeled one in this part. So that will be, so this is how it will look like. Picture one. Picture two, and then we take number two, the one labeled two for picture one, and then followed by the one labeled two for picture two. Okay, and we're going to cover up the whole artwork in this way. So next will be picture one, that's right, labeled three. Okay. And then followed by picture two, label three. And last but not least, you'll be the one that's labeled number four for picture one first. And then picture number two. So I'm going to paste this on and you will see how it will look like for the final product. So, as we go, our agama graph is ready. So, you can see, when you flip it on this side, you will see picture 1. And when you flip to the other side, you can see picture 2. I hope you have fun making this artwork.